Hello, good morning, grade two, or good afternoon again. Today is, what day is it? It's July 5, Monday for grade 2B, and July 6 for grade 2A, week 4. Our lesson is about living and non-living things. Did you have your science book? Great! Let's begin with our lesson. I have here something. Let me see if you know. Do you know? Yes, it's a bunch of fish. Let's learn living things. Living things. Living things are all around us. We are living things. Animals are living things. Plants are living things too. What makes something a living thing? Living things eat, breathe, grow, and make more of itself. Can you think of an example of a living thing? Animals are living things. There are many different types of animals. They all look different, but they all have one thing in common. They are all living things. Humans are living things too, and so are plants. Plants are living things because they breathe, eat, grow, and make more of themselves. Plants need food and water to live. Plants make their food through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a special word for how plants get their food. Photosynthesis is the way plants make their own food. Plants use the light from the sun to give them energy to make their own food. Plants grow like all living things and are alive. Non-living things do not eat, breathe, grow, or make more of themselves. Here are some examples of non-living things. Living things are all around us. We need to care for them and for each other. We can help all living things by caring for our environment. Our earth is full of living things that rely on it to breathe, to eat, to grow, and to be a safe place for their young. We can help by recycling, cleaning up, not littering, and showing respect for wildlife by giving them a place to live. Together, we can make the world a better place. Wow! Did you understand? I sure did. Let's go further and talk about living things. So living things is what? Something that moves, remember? Just like what the video told us earlier. Now, the video clip you just watched is an example of surroundings. It is objects or things that you see around you. It can be a living or non-living thing. Living things. They are made by nature or made by another living thing. Let us know more of the key features of a living thing. Again, when you say made by nature, it is made by another living thing. Here are examples again of some living things. The tree, the turtle, and the squirrel. They are alive. Now, on page 24 in our book, living things need air, food, and water for their living. So, all living things need air for breathing, and food, and water for living and growing. If they do not get enough food and water, they cannot grow and may die. The giraffe is eating what? leaves and the zebra is breathing through its nose and the plants need water for living let's go to number two living things react to a stimuli all living things whether humans plants or animals they react to their environment they react to something and that something is a stimuli for example 
Look at the millipedes. If you touch the millipede, it will curl. It will try to protect itself. And the plants, they bend their stem or their body towards the sunlight. And the mimosa pudica plant, they fold when you touch its leaf. And the cat hisses to a dog if the dog is barking at the cat. I will show you an example of a stimuli later on. Living things can move and change their places. It means it can walk, run, jump, or for birds, it can fly. Plants do not move because they cannot walk, but they can move their stem or their body. If the sun is to the left, they will bend to the left. If the sunlight is to the right, they will bend to the right. And living things just like us, we need to remove the body waste out from our body. So we poop. Yes, we poop and we go to the toilet if we want to take a pee. Yes, urine. And, of course, we can see living things reproduce and make babies. Just like chicken, they can make baby chick. Or us, human beings, mommy can make another baby. And a plant from a seed, if you plant it, it will grow into a flower and then a tree. It is a living thing. Here are something that can help us. Remember, living things need water to survive. We get thirsty and we eat. And we breathe oxygen. And we poop. And we react. This is an example of a stimuli. The bird is the stimuli because the bird bit the dog's tail. And the dog reacted. And of course, we need to sleep. We need to rest. And living things like animals and people can make babies. Now we can do page 20 in your science book. Please color the pictures of living things, only the living things. If you are finished doing this one, we can go to page 30. Put a check mark on the living things and put an X on the non-living things. So here, we can write here what? I found a man and then I will draw a man. Where is my ball pen? Here. I will draw a man. And then I will write here it is alive. And then I will put a check here. So this is what you will do for this page. And here, write the letter. What is the dog doing? The dog is what? Eating or getting rid of its body waste. What about this one? The deer. Is it eating? If the answer is eating, you write A. Do you follow? Okay. After doing this, I will check your book when we meet. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Teacher will erase the chalkboard. There. I'll see you. Bye-bye.